Just up from the corner of Nanaimo's Comox Road and Wallace Street, there's a heritage building that has stood tall and full of purpose for 90 years. It has a bright history, with leaders and the young scout community getting interactive, teaching and learning life skills that today can often be overlooked. Troops loot. More and more we're losing touch. It's important that we teach the youth to have this connection with the outdoor world so that they can appreciate the outdoor world. Because everything today is an awareness. We're going to have a big one one of these days. You know, maybe it's 10,000 years from now, but it's going to happen. And when and they're dry, these kids would have some basic stick. skills that would aid in their survival. They could light a fire with next to nothing. They could put up an emergency shelter. They have some elemental first aid. These skills are all being taught through the various scouts programs, which offer youth ages 5 to 24 traditional and mostly technology-free skill sets. I'm so grateful that I've had like all this experience that I can go to a campsite and be like, oh, this we should put a tarp here and a tent here, and I know how to put that up, and it's really awesome. So are you, are you telling me that this beats video games? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah. All right, I like to hear that. <laughs> this busily crafting group is the first Nanaimo Scouts, and they're working on a year-long project. What are you making here, Sean? A uh, leather sheath for a knife that we are making. Yeah. And this would be your knife? Yes. So what did you do to make it out of this? So we uh, used sandpaper to make it more smooth, and then we put um, pieces of wood on for the handle and then sanded those down a lot. And when you figure they're dry, we're going to put them together. Well, I've been a scout leader for 54 years. I have strong attachments to it. There's been a great number of kids that have gone through this building and it makes all the work you do worthwhile. Inside, programming continues as usual. But outside, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to know that this porch and this roof are in need of some serious repair. We've got daylight coming through the roof. Lots of black rot. Lots of black rot. Lots of rot on the floor, too. This Much spot looks really soft right here. This, this part's really bad. You, when you push on it, you can see the movement. The whole wraparound porch is in serious disrepair. Handrails, you know, we replace the uh, boards as need be, but it's pretty bad. The stairs are pretty rough. We don't have handrails. So how unsafe do you think this deck is right now? Well, we still use it, but we monitor it pretty darn closely. Yeah. Yeah, we do. I mean, it, we got to keep the kids safe. That's number one. Absolutely. First yeah. priority. Yeah, absolutely. The city has been actually very helpful. They sent engineers out to have a look at it to give us an idea how much it's going to cost. And they estimated it's going to cost about $80,000 to repair the porch and to bring it up to code. That will also make it wheelchair accessible. This whole area has to be re-engineered to today's standards. So it's not a simple matter of replacing the boards on the deck no. on the porch? No, the, the whole foundation of it and the underpinnings, everything, where it's tied into the main building, all has to be redone. So that explains the $80,000 price tag. That explains the $80,000 pr price tag. Most of the fundraising for the roof is actually complete. <whistles> but help with the porch is desperately needed. For the youth, though, the programs inside are an easy distraction from the building's woes. Tell me about your badges here. Oh, I'm not very good. Um, so you don't have a sewing badge? No. <laughs> this one is for First Nanaimo. That's our love. That actually cabin. is the cabin. Yeah. Here. And then. This is um, our area. We're the Central Island area. I know there's like a team sports badge. It's like a swimming badge. So like you can get first aid badge or um, there's lots of badges. There's. Is there a badge for roof repair? I don't think so. No porch repair. I don't think so. To find out more about First Nanaimo Scouts or to offer up some help with building repairs, send an email to First Nanaimo Scout Hut at gmail.com or call the number on screen. In Nanaimo, I'm Derek Johnstone.